understanding of every Kenyan on how that will go. And I know Honorable was saying yes. something to add, and as you do that, I'm also interested in the question of uh, today is, let's say, your first sitting of the 13th Parliament, uh, Parliament after yes. the official opening last Thursday. Yes. And there's a question of who is in the majority, who is in the, in the minority. Your party has been mentioned. Uh, what its position is. You can clarify that and also answer me on what you think should happen as you sit today. Uh, thank you again, Sam Kituku. Um, what I wanted to say uh, a little on the GMO is, I think we're forgetting the definition. We're forgetting to define mm -hmm. what is GMO <laughs> in accordance with the language that can be understood <laughs> by Wanjiko. Mm -hmm. If you want to call Wanjiko or Chepkoske or whatever you want mm -hmm. to call them. Yeah. Because we are, we, when we are debating, we are debating as if we understand all of us. And the, the common manager understand, they don't understand. GMO, uh, uh, Sam, in, 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 in uh, layman's understanding and definition, is growing something out of normal. <laughs> That's the truth. No. Mm -hmm. That's why it is, it is contested. It is questionable. It is, it is not growing normally. It's it is growing abnormally. By, politics. By, no, 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 no. no <laughs> they, they, him to make a statement. It's, these are his views. <laughs> it's not my view, uh, uh, Sam. You Google if you want. No, no I'm saying, you I mean, the one is, uh, who is expressing them. Yes. <laughs> just defending you to continue making uh, points. Uh, uh, no, not coming the politics. Where he's coming from, uh, where, where my friend is coming from. And uh -huh. he's bringing politics. He wants to defend his position. He can defend in parliament, but not here. <laughs> So it is Can true. It is, it is actually growing out of normal. Yeah. Whether you are injecting something so that it grows in a different way. So I think that's what we are forgetting. That uh, that's the definition to manage. Because what right. is GMO? It is growing up out of normal. Now, coming to Parliament, um, uh, Sam, we are debating a debate which is determined. <laughs> the determination is mm -hmm. Azimio is the majority. That's the truth. <laughs> yes, uh, Kenya Union Party, which is my party, is in Azimio. It is the majority. It forms the part of the majority. And this is what, what it is. People who sign yeah, mm -hmm. agreements, pre-election agreements, those agreements are still legally binding. Right? Even by the fact that uh, uh, Kenya Kwanzaa is negotiating with, with some parties which are in Azimio, they are actually appreciating that they are the minority. It is true. Let us not beat about the bush, uh, uh, Sam. Mm -hmm. Kenya Kwanzaa is negotiating with some parties which were or signed agreements with Azimio, and, and that is UDM, uh, uh, PAA, uh, 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 Chap Chap. Those people signed with Azimio Ali, right? And after that, you know that that's not Kenya Kwanzaa is negotiating with them. I said, look, you know, you look, look, you know what? Cross over and come and help us. But in terms of law, uh, Sam, and, and the person who, dis who says who is where is registrar of political parties. Mm -hmm. He's not the speaker. People are giving work speaker, which <laughs> he can't do it. So, so how, how many members does Azimio have in the House? Uh, according, you, you see, I don't know whether you're in the House or elected. People were elected on Azimio, about 172. Mm. About 172. People were elected in Kenya Kwanzaa, about 165. And that is the truth. I can, I can, I can demonstrate that. And, and, and that is why Kenya Kwanzaa is negotiating, right? So for now, in terms of legalities, if, if uh, uh, UDM, Right, manages to do and effect what they are saying they're negotiating with Kenya Kwanzaa, which is to remove themselves officially from registrar of political parties. And then the balance legally shifts to Kenya Kwanzaa, and that's the truth. Mm -hmm. So what they need to do, let us let, let's leave this debate. Eventually, of course, the, everybody is, is, is free to, to associate with whichever side you want. But do it legally. Okay. We are a country of law. So they should move. There are two ways. One, negotiate with the uh, Azimio so that they can be allowed to move officially and register that in the register of political parties. And then register of political parties, now we register the other agreement for Kenya Kwanzaa. And then they become legally the, the biggest, or they go to court. The debates about, oh, what is what, should have been taken to court. It's not in parliament. Parliament will not listen to those things. You reason to say, oh, you know, we are forced. If you are forced, then take to court. Prove to court that you are actually forced to go into that union. Okay. Then court will lift you. When it lifts you, that, that new agreement is registered with who? with registrar of political parties. And then it comes to parliament, it kills the story. OK, I hear you. And I know, Honorable Gadot, you're itching to respond. But let me hear from <laughs> G Gabriel first. Um, because such an important question that has to be determined, how does Kenya Kwanzaa defend um, its claim on these other coalition uh, partners, UDM, 
Of course, we've seen a Mandela chapter leader being nominated to the cabinet, um, PA leader being elected speaker of the uh, Senate. But how do you claim legally if you have yes, to go to that question? Uh, thank you. I, I think this is a very straightforward question. Mm -hmm. uh, one, I think the question is the issue of the majority party. Uh, my friend here, mm -hmm. it's good for all of us to understand. I was elected on UDA party, which is a Kenya coalition party, Kenya Kwanza. Kenya Kwanza. He was elected, uh, your party is called Pu Kenya Union. Kup, <laughs> Kup, Kup, which is an affiliate of Asimio, is an Asimio thing. Asimio only fronted a presidential candidate, Raila. All these others, majority of them, came through the fling, you know, the small political parties. <laughs> no, no, it is clear. Let's the speaker just... will make a ruling. Mm -hmm. Which ruling? So when the speaker is going to make a ruling on the which is the poli the, the leader, uh, the, the the majority party, mm -hmm. UDA, UDA as a party has the majority in parliament. Is it one hundred and forty? Forty is true. Followed by mm -hmm. ODM. ODM. With 98. 98, followed by, I think, Waper, mm -hmm. mm. then yeah. followed by Jubilee. No, I think Waper. Jubilee, Waper. Jubilee, okay. Okay. Around there. Then UDM. Right? Then so, <laughs> then not to go up, to, to go up. <laughs> so when you look, you ask the question <laughs> of, and I think these members, mm -hmm. when they were signing whatever in parliament, mm. they were doing it against their political party, sponsoring political parties. Jubilee, she's a member of Jubilee. Is not a member of Asimu. Who? By my this is, is no, no, no. Me, I, I mean, UDA. sorry, sorry, sorry. UDA. I'm saying, UDA. I'm saying, uh, Adam, I'm saying. She, sorry, I'm sorry, my I'm colleague. A serious general I'm talking UDA. about uh, serious my colleague. Uh, Ask me, Carl. This is a very serious <laughs> topic here. ODM. He's a member of ODM. Mm -hmm. He's a member of Coop. Mm -hmm. She's a member of UDA. UDA. Mm. Even you don't know your members. You get it? Yes. Now it is looking the political party. We are one thirty. So it's very clear whether whichever, uh, whichever kind of coalition they, they want to say, uh -huh. they are sponsored by individual parties. So UDA is the majority party in the house. Statistics. Uh, but Sam, lastly, Sam, Sam, let me go to. No, no, I'm, I'm still with you. There's yes. the gold point of order. U UDA 144 members. <laughs> yes. <laughs> ODM 88. Yes. Billy 27. Wiper 26. UDM 9. And so many other parties. Well, K oh, KUP so, three. So this is yeah. not there. Three is there. KUP three. <laughs> it's there. <laughs> then NOPE, UDP, GDDP, MDG, CCM, two, two, one, one, each. one. Yes. So when you look at that, how do COOP, ODM, Jubilee, Wiper, how do they coalesce in the house? They can do maybe in voting on the floor. No, no. No, no, it is a reality. When you want to divine the leader, the, the majority party in the house, you look the party. That sponsors an individual. So that is why. You don't look at the coalition? Well, it's not the coalition. Mm -hmm. And the speaker is going to make a ruling. Okay. Now, just before maybe I leave, there is the issue we talked about some of the parties that join us just before election. Yeah. Like PA, CHAP CHAP. Uh, the Political Parties Act is stipulate that you can do a pre or post, post. Uh -huh. election. Mm -hmm. We have already done the election. Right? Now, the question, there could be a gray area in that. But these parties were allowed by law to now form new alliances, which have already they and have done. UDA, your sponsoring party, yes. leave Kenya Kwanzaa and join Azimia, for instance? Sorry? Can UDA, your party, mm -hmm. leave Kenya Kwanzaa and join Azimia? As a post-election uh, No, no, uh, I'm party. talking in regards to parties like PAP. You know they did... No, no, no. <laughs> you yeah. just told me that yes. you're allowed to do pre-election coalition. Yeah, by law, yes, by standing out. I mean, so, by the so political can parties act. UDA leave Kenya Kwanzaa and join Azimia, for instance? So Legally, how can yes. UDA ruling party... No, but they just... <laughs> <laughs> but is it possible? Yeah, I think there is in the provision of in the political so if party that is like, possible, it's possible. How would it happen and make it legal? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Then definitely that will continue changing the issue of the numbers of coalitions. But on the matters of political parties, as it is, mm -hmm. UDA, I think you just indicated <laughs> or stated. Okay, right, I hear you. Yeah. I hear you. No, no, so, so, Hanabu, you. no, no. Wait, Hanabu Gadoni, uh, talk to me about um, okay. the legality 
and what has to be done because it's okay freedom of association is mm -hmm. enshrined yeah. in the constitution mm -hmm. but what must these political parties do so that it's 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 tidy mm -hmm. even in the house correct um first of all you know i'm loving the game the game i'm seeing of azimio <laughs> crying like mm. a cry baby of uh, uh, departed members or departed lovers <coughs> that were in existence <laughs> during campaigns. I'm also loving the game and the drama that is happening post-election um, period when people are now coming to confess that, oh, we were coerced, we, were, <laughs> no, we never went into Azimio willingly, we were coerced. And we all know what we went through during campaigns and the kind of coercion that was existing. I'm sure my brother Kosin and my former chair in the, in, the, in the National Assembly would not want to be party to this discussion because they know what they've been doing to intimidate others. <laughs> yeah. They really no, no, intimidated no, no. people. No, no. You will get, get a chance those. to defend yourself. Yeah. I'll so give it to um, you. Um, I don't want to talk about uh, the legal aspect because I'm not a legal expert. But what I know is that in the floor of the house is that there's freedom of association, there's a freedom of voting. You can vote wherever you want so long as your conscience is clear. Mm -hmm. And I am loving the game I'm seeing in Parliament, like the last sitting where members of Azimio proudly walked and said, I'm going to vote this direction without coercion. So whether we have numbers or not, numbers in politics don't lie. Politics is a game of competing numbers and competing ideas. Honorable Gadoni, you, you, you just said, in mm -hmm. the previous conversation, you just said that you're lobbying to be the chair of the Agriculture Committee. I, yes. If you're not the majority, then that is shaky. It may not no, become no, no, a reality. No, 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 you don't have to be the majority for you to lobby. I mean, it depends no, 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 on the I'm power of you to lobby. I can lobby this guy even if he's not in my just party. Just I'm not saying that can you can't me. lobby. I'm just saying you becoming maybe a challenge because the majority party has a slight majority in the committees. And you, you elect chairs by voting, isn't it? We elect chairs by voting, but it's a democratic process. So whether the members of that committee are from Azimio or from Kenya Kwanzaa, if you, ha you are good in lobbying, you can actually get to or everybody to vote for you. What matters is whether mm -hmm. there's a pronouncement that your party is part of the majority party. Yeah. And like my brother has ably said it, UDA has, is the only single party that has the majority the CPP that we were coerced to pass, the coalition party, political party, do you remember the drama that was in parliament, mm -hmm. in the 12th parliament, when the motion to pass, the, the, the debate to pass, the CPP came in? Yes. The, 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 the coalition party, political party act, actually was the, the final thread to kill Azimio. Because they are the same same people who came up with the law and said that you have to have a coalition party, not a coalition mm -hmm. organization. It is a coalition party. Mm. And there, Azimio is a coalition party, one party. It only had a presidential candidate. They have no single member of parliament. Mm. Ask me, ask me. Are we together? So, 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 there's so no, this whole in, drama, in, in, it's in the drama view, that they showed to us, they, they in, played in, in, the, in the view, script that they play, played before campaigns. It's the same script they played when you were passing the coalition party, <laughs> political party in parliament that, with a lot of coercion. And we can already see even their members of Azmiu are screaming. Okay. They have taken, they actually can't breathe. That is why they are running away. Oh, oh, all right. I'm sure Dr. Nikal is breathing, but Dr. Now, Nikal... Can't breathe. Simple. Let's make it simple. Yes. Because we are mixing politics and law. Uh -huh. What we are doing here, we are mixing politics and law. Because you are politics. Politics is a game of what it is, you know, and it, it tries to defy many things. It tries to defy law. Law, it can change. It even tries to defy science. Then it normally <laughs> fails. Now, what is happening is this. Mm -hmm. As the law stands today, mm -hmm. the definition in Article 108 of the Constitution mm -hmm. is that it is the, the party or a coalition of parties. of parties that has the majority of numbers. Now, if you take that mm -hmm. and you say Asmio is a coalition, then they have the numbers 172, as they said. What, the, what our uh, Kwanzaa people are trying is the law that was passed, as he's saying, just before we went mm. to the election. Mm. We were trying to say, can we define collisions properly so that when people say we are a collision, mm -hmm. there's a legal, uh, a legal provision for it. Mm -hmm. That is what created that. And therefore, we said you can have coalition parties. It didn't kill the concept of coalitions. 
That is why you had mm -hmm. uh, pre-election and post-election. And it was, the, the, law said, the law said you have to be clear on how it is done. So what, if we go by coalition of parties, and as Mio is a coalition of parties, they have 172, and the other is about 165. The independents are not counted are in not. this game. Right. But, but what, they, yeah. 172 so, versus 165. Five, yes. that and, the, and, and then the, the independents are not counted on this. Now, and what is the process? Yeah, that, that 172 or 171, 172, that is decided by the register of political parties that will inform the speaker the, the collision with the numbers is this. Mm -hmm. Then the speaker will merely announce. Now, what am I saying? We are not playing politics. We are, the politics we are playing is the definition of a collision and a collision party. That is what Kwanzaa is trying to say. There's definitely a gray area there. And I think if in law there's a gray area, take to you take it to the court. Yes. And there is provision mm -hmm. that three months after the election, mm -hmm. those who went into collision according to that law can actually change. So until three months are over, but have those who are in Azimio are there. But after three months, they like they it can, yeah, they like whether by, by law, after three months, they can be persuaded, purchased, coerced <laughs> <laughs> to go wherever they want to go. That will be then okay. That will change the equation in the house. Okay. Now, if you go by voting, mm -hmm. and this one is not by voting because Article 108 states clearly how it is done, then Standing Orders 19 also does not call for voting. Now you will say, then how come when we are electing the speakers this didn't happen? When it comes to voting, mm -hmm. you do not tie. Yeah. You do not tie yes. members yes. of parliament mm. to vote in any way. No. They can vote against the party. Yes. But people tend to go in parties. And my friend, if you're trying to be the chair of agriculture, <laughs> go by what he was telling you. It may be a challenge if you're not in the majority. I've given up ever being a chair of the health committee, although I think it's something I could do. I mean, we, when we were electing, <laughs> even the members the other side, after electing me, I would start saying, but Dr. Terry, you did a wonderful job when you were in health. I wish you could you could chair us. Say, but you've just voted me out. So you know this was politics. <laughs> because the factors that go there are different. You can be coerced, you can so in reality, if you go by the law as it stands, as Mio is the majority. Okay. So that is really the, but in politics, if you now say let's vote, then the other people in Asmio may vote the other side. Okay, I hear you, Dr. Nikal. Um, Mushmo Kosing, there's yes. something that you didn't like that Honorable Gadoni said. You can respond to that, but also tell me about um, in the last parliament, you were the chair of a transport committee. Gadoni was your deputy. It's so interesting. Um, how did you become that? Nikal, yet, Nikal was a mere member in the health. <laughs> yet, yet, yet she says that you With can lobby other, yeah. members. Why is it so important that Azimio, despite the challenges of some of these political parties leaving um, the coalition political party, why is it so important that you be the majority? Uh, very good question, uh, uh, Sam. Very important. And, and uh, Honorable Wamuchomba needs to listen to that. <clears throat> but before I go there, I think what we are missing, and I agree with Honorable Nikal, we are mixing politics and law. Mm. Number one, uh, uh, Sam, the issue of Azimio not having filled a candidate is just the same as Kenya Kwanzaa has no candidate. Kenya Kwanzaa has a coalition, has no candidates. If you look at it that way, as me as, a, as a, no candidate, but there are coalitions. But, but, so but they are saying U.S. is a Zimio coalition political party. Yes. Kenya Kwanzaa is a coalition of political parties. Mm. You see, if, if so, you, so, so, so they are saying. Understand that. Uh, just hold on. Listen, that, um, if you go even deeper. Try to divine. Honorable Kosing, uh, just Help. listen to this. That the leader of the majority party shall be the person who is the leader in the National Assembly of the largest party or but coalition party. of parties. Yes. yes. So that's what they're using to say, that Kenya Kwanzaa is a coalition of political parties. Parties, yes. Azimi is a coalition of political parties. So what, what is the distinction there? What they have forgotten is if you go to that act that we passed, mm -hmm. we define what mm -hmm. is a coalition. Mm -hmm. And, and, and Azimi is a coalition party. What this, you know, 
maybe people were not paying attention last parliament <laughs> when we were doing this thing. Oh. And therefore now, they are, play, they are playing politics. Number two, and even if you are to contest that definition, uh, Sam, right. where will you contest? It's in high court, where you go and seek for an interpretation. Mm -hmm. The interpretation of that, that is not available in parliament. And you cannot force the speaker to do an interpretation. Parliament has no power to interpret. It has power to pass the laws. Who but is supposed to interpret? Can make a ruling. Pardon? No, no, no. But the speaker can make a ruling. Ma so the information you, available to him. No, a speaker can make a ruling. the law or the standing orders. Right? <laughs> Listen, let me tell you, whatever we are discussing is actually politics, right? <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and, and misinterpretations. But the law as it is, uh, uh, Sam, as, as, I, as I tell you now, as Mio is the majority, what Kenya Kwanza need to tell their partners that they are weak? And they will go. It is the truth. Maybe after three months or six months, they will have to go, but they have to qualify. What do they do? Let them move, remove themselves from Azimio. So, coalition. if that's a possibility, why is it so important that Azimio is the majority coalition or party? Pardon? If the reality that the, this political party, UDM, yes. MCP, PAA, can leave, why is it so important for you to be in the majority? What we are saying is we are not forcing majoritarian. <laughs> we are only saying, let us follow the law. We are actually bring, bringing uh, some, some tidiness in this country. This is my opinion. We are saying, what is tidy? The tidy is, follow the law. And it is simple. Why are we discussing these things? <laughs> Kenya Kwanzaa should tell their people, actually, UDM, I well, a minute, UDM, You're PA, and so on. I'm not dodging. They should just tell them, do what? Qualify. Go and remove yourself from registrar of political parties being in the list of Azimio. It is very simple, Sam. What is the problem? And, and, but I, they have not done it. And I hear you. And just a minute. Just a minute, so, Sam. Just a little honorable, Gabriel. I understand what, what all of you are saying. So then, the question, Dr. Nikal, that I'm looking for an answer for, if you agree that there are certain political parties that may have left, yes. despite not legally, mm -hmm. why is it so important that you are the majority, something that may change in a few months? Okay, let me ask you one question. I know you are no honorable, Mchomba. But if you are going to have a, de a dealing on something, and I want, she has to confirm that she's on a Womuchomba. She has to bring an ID card. Why is it important that I know she is, and why is she to bring an ID card? Yes. So it's another way of looking at it. Why, why is it important that I'm Nikal? I am. So I can say it's not important. But the identity is what it is. Until that changes. As it is now, by the laws of Kenya, the, 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 the majority is actually as Mio. The only small thing that is there is the, the, the interpretation of the law that was passed before we went to the election. And let me put it this way. Sometimes we hear people say, let's go to the letter of the law and the spirit of the law. And what were the lawmakers trying to do at that time? You've heard that. Fortunately, all of us here were there. Yeah, there. Yeah. And what we were trying to do was trying to bring some sanity in this issue of collisions. Mm -hmm. Because people are moving left and right and saying, today I move here, there's a collision. Today okay. we move. So we said, let's put a law that defines a collision. Yeah. So that law defined a collision. But the word that the uh, collision party, it is that word that is now being used uh, politically. Right. And that one cannot be decided by the speaker in the house. The speaker it actually that should be done in court to have the interpretation. Okay. Yes, Sam. Yes, so, Sam. That is what it is. Allow, me. Allow me to help them to answer the question. I was they have on not the floor. answered. They have been Both dodging a question. Yes. They yes. have dodged Probably that question. Yeah. He dodged it. He has also dodged. Mm. You asked what me, is why is it that Azimio really want to become yeah. the what majority? Yet it is obvious, even after they become a majority tomorrow or today, they will certainly lose some of the members because they have indicated the willingness to move away, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They have not answered that question. The reason why We've they answered. want to become no, the majority is because myself. this is the what right time. I want Honorable to be protected. Uh, uh, Kaseng, allow her to please make protect a point. me from uh, this uh, guy from Pokot. <laughs> protected. She's, <laughs> she's your, she's, I mean, from Pokot, we have chair. to protect him. Yeah, you have to protect me from the guy He's from Pokot. He's your former chair. Mm. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> so the reason why Azmio is so desperate to actually be declared the, ma the majority is because this is the only time, ripe time, for them to be able to take over the leadership mm. of the committees in the House. And therefore, they capture the business of the House. R kind of capture, let me use that word. So, so as you respond so, to so that, they really why want, is it Even important? if they are going to lose the members tomorrow, uh -huh. they will have de be declared the majority, and therefore the chairs of most of the committees will, will, be, will go to their basket, and therefore they will be able to turn around the business of the House. That is the gist of the That's matter. not true. 
The, the let me say, let me say you know why that's not true. And it's true. going to be Do, hot Dr. air, by Nicole, the way. Hot just air. hold on. Opek. <laughs> Hono Bogashoni, Gagatono Mushumba, even mixing <laughs> yes. your two names. Apologies for that. But if Kenya Kwanza currently, by numbers, is the minority, but you have signed post election agreements so that you become a majority, what would you lose if Kenya Kwanza is in the minority? What would you lose? Us. Yes. Kenya Kwanza, leadership, just like I've said, leadership in the, in the, in the committees of the House. Minority will be now the, my, the, the my majority leader will now be the minority. Let so me, it is actually means they are the ones who are going to control the calendar of the, uh, the not the calendar, the business of the yeah. house. Because let they are going yeah. to have the more, more control on the house business. Now, Sam, let, let me, me, I was on the floor. Sam, eh? the, 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 just hold on. Even that is and therefore, the issue of GMO, for example, the new amendments. Why, why not just wait for the three months for these political parties to yes. resign? Because we are in politics. And politics is the game of competing numbers. That is politics. That is why we are actually here. We are playing our profession. Okay. Sam, let you asked me, you ask me something we have me, not answered. You, you know, the, the interesting yeah. bit is that he's telling us that we are playing politics. Yes, and I wanted to <laughs> you just agree with the that. Sam, just, The reason why you invited me here, here because we are say, politicians. No, no, so I have to ask you question. I'll give you. I think it's my turn. Eh? I have not heard from uh, Honorable Gabi. Yeah, but but you see, so that you don't forget, I'll give him. I'll not talk. But you asked me what I did to become chair. So I'll come to that, but give him. <laughs> then I'll come to that. I, I think, think. Uh, Honorable Gabriel, yes. the question is, um, because you can wait for the uh, three months, yet people look at parliament as the House of Representation, mm -hmm. um, the Oversight House, so in essence you're working for the interest of the people. Yeah. Why is it so important that your party and your coalition um, is in the majority of a coalition that is already in the executive, yet your work is oversight. So it shouldn't really matter if you have to look at strictly the separation of powers. No, it matters most. One, maybe before I answer to that, I think it's going to be clear to all of us. It's, we can argue, argue, argue. <laughs> but the law is very clear that the divination of the party, the majority party in the House, and the Speaker is a distinguished lawyer with a, many years of experience. Sure. Right. And he's going to make a ruling. I'm really surprised that members of parliament. Can, 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 we, just, can, can we just wait for the ruling? Then yeah, but question. he's saying that the speaker does not have powers. It is actually belittling the house. No, where they sit. What I'm saying, David, I mean, but now to, to the question. Yes. Okay, to the question. Uh -huh. There is everything in having being the majority party. My colleague Wam Shamba have just said uh -huh. that uh, the tradition of the house, the majority party is going to produce the lead of majority who is going to be the leader of the House Business Committee, which is now where the, the matters take to be. the leader? No, it's the Speaker, no? What? Is it the Speaker, the chair of the House Business Committee? Yes, but the leader of majority is, is the one to be actually, like, you know, to introduce. In, in, in Parliament, to introduce okay. in Parliament. OK. Uh, so there is too much. There is everything in being the, the declared the majority party. You will also not wish to have a president where you are a president, but you are a party, you are the, the president of where your party is the minority. You know, the, 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 the validating win. What, what, and the what, power. what would he suffer? Because look at the case of Nairobi County. Yes. The governor is mm. from UDA or Kenya Kwanza. The majority in the house is Azimio. But we will not have wished to have such a situation. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. No. Oh, on, in, yeah, in practical yeah, sense, no. what would he suffer? What would the executive suffer? I wanted to come to it. Uh -huh. You know, we all know that every executive will be having a lot of bills mm. to bring to the house. Mm -hmm. And every government want to have his way so that they can able to advocate and pass through what they had promised the country and the electorate. <clears throat> and that can be happen more easier if you are the majority in the House. So are you looking for knowledge. what is easy or what is right representing mm. the people? <laughs> Sorry? Are you looking for what is easy or what is right representing the people and oversighting the executive? It's both. You know, uh, I'm even surprised because it's both. One, our role is oversight, true, mm -hmm. oversighting the executive, regardless of which party or coalition you belong to. Right. Either opposition mm -hmm. or you actually belong to the party of the government our role still oversighting. And that's why we have these committees to oversight the executive. Two, representation. All of us are elected to parliament to represent our people, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Then the other one is legislation. Mm -hmm. That is why now we bring bills in the house, 
pass them legislating. But it is not belongs to all of us that we still belong to parties and been elected by the people that belong to the parties. And every president, every executive, every government, want, they have a manifesto. <clears throat> like our president promised the, 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 the housing, matters agriculture, mass, matters UHC, and many, many others. The, the, the tray is already you know, full and waiting mm -hmm. to have the house debate, mm -hmm. articulate and pass majority of them and amend what is needed. So every individual here, every politician want to belong to the majority party. Every uh, president want to have the party to come from majority party. It would be unfortunate to be a president or a governor, but you have the minority in the house. Dr. Nicole, how many times have you done in Parliament? Two? This two. Three. This is the second one? This is the oh, third. Three. Oh, the third one. Yes. So what makes a better um, legislator um, in terms of executing your work? Is it being in the majority, minority? Is it representing the interest of your people or the interest of your party? How do you... <laughs> a leg a if, you say, if you say a legislator, what makes a good legislator is actually looking at the facts, looking at the law, looking at the constitution and uh, executing this to get a law that is sound. Mm -hmm. That's what it is. But you are talking of what makes a good, say, member of parliament. Mm -hmm. But then that will mean you are also good in legislation, but you're also good in representing your people mm -hmm. when the issues you bring it in. You are also good at actually lobbying for them, mm -hmm. part of representation, Honorable getting can, things Honorable done. I can actually hear you. No, get, getting done. <laughs> so that is that. But what is really the issue here is just that definition okay. of a coalition party mm -hmm. or a coalition of parties. All right. That is where we are sticking. But you asked why is it, for example, important for Asmio that you are the leader of uh, the majority mm -hmm. at this particular point of time. Let me tell you uh, that when you do things, you actually have to do the right thing, right. not the easy or comfortable thing. Mm -hmm. If actually it can be proved that as you are in the house, mm -hmm. the house is not properly constituted, the laws that you make in the house can yes. be challenged in Correct. court. Mm -hmm. And we know that laws have been successfully challenged in court. Right. So it is important that at any particular moment, everything that is being done in the house is with the law. And that is why at this particular point in time, before the three months elapse, and, and parties change their allegiance in the coalitions, it is actually the Kwanzaa. It would be wrong for us to just sit there and then let's say, okay, it has been decided, while actually it is not right. Somebody can actually go to court that at the point this law was passed, parliament was not properly constitu constituted. Now, the speaker, my colleague said oh, that, that say the speaker has no power. I didn't mean it that way. The speaker has powers, but the speaker has powers within the law, one, the constitution, two, the, the, the actual laws that is in place, and three, the standing orders. Mm -hmm. It is only when nothing, that none of these makes a provision that the speaker can now make a decision. Okay. But if a speaker makes a decision that contravenes any of these... Can be impeached. Yeah, he is, well, it's, it is not, he doesn't have that power. So that everybody in this country including the president, yes. operates within that law. So outside the law, they can't do it. So okay. that, that is what I meant. But at this moment, we really need to look at the law. And I would say, as you are saying, these three months, let's look at the law. My colleagues have said that if you declared a leader of uh, the majority now, then you, you, you take certain positions. As far as I know, these positions can be changed. A motion can be brought in the House to say, this is what it should be now that these people that were in our coalition have moved, the situation has changed. I don't see why that can't be done, okay. as far as I know. So it's not true uh, that it cannot be changed. But I think what uh, Kwanza wants is from the beginning have full control <laughs> whether it is within the law or not and continue. That three months waiting would be very nice for them. Okay. And you have ways of, of getting people the other side, coercing, 
purchasing. <laughs> Dr. Sajikal. <laughs> so, is, you will do those ones. <laughs> you, you, you keep calling them Kwanza. Language, yeah? They are Kenya Kwanza. Kenya, I want to Kenya Kwanza, okay. <laughs> the transition, even as you remain in parliament, and to listen to what the